Good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. So as you can see this morning, we have a couple of familiar faces back on the scene again here doing work, and that is our electricians. Uh, remember yesterday I made a comment, uh, I let you know that I contacted my contractor you know, requesting when are we going to get uh, the, our electricians back here, and we were supposed to have them on Monday, but he said they would be here today on Wednesday, and they are indeed here on Wednesday. I went through this morning to all the different areas that we need attention, 13 outside lights installed, uh, switch outlets on the inside, uh, some lighting connections on the inside, uh, everything. We did a full sweep of all the things that will complete out all of our electrical needs here at the house today. <laughs> and and they said yes, they were going to tend to that. I don't know if it will be. I, since we have two people on site, they can actually get all this stuff done in one day. Also, you see we're continuing with the pebble rock on the back patio. Uh, since we added that additional color of the amber, the golden amber, I do not have enough of that stone left over. So today we're going to have to make a road trip. And I will talk about that road trip in just a minute. But one of the things we'll have to get is more of the pebble stone uh, to complete some of the, uh, or all of the, uh, the pebble stone installation throughout all the patios and the lanai's. Also, you see on the front of the house, they are mixing up some of the concrete mix, uh, the Portland cement and sand, and they're going to be using that to do the installation uh, or the completion of the construction of the front patio area, or the steps that go down to the driveway. Uh, we have all three of our carpenters on, on uh, work detail today, although I'm really concerned about the one that has been out all week last week. He's back today, uh, but he looks like his back is still sore. I would prefer he actually just stay home and recover and uh, not injure his back anymore. So I hope he'll be okay. He'll know how to judge his own uh, amount of workload that he does. I, I think it'll be very minimal and maybe he'll leave it a half a day like he has done a couple other days this week. So anyway, we have to do a road trip and uh, we have to go, when I say we, it's me and our guest here. Uh, we are going to go uh, sourcing out all the materials that we need to get this morning. So it's gonna be mostly a road trip this morning uh, to, to be able to get the things that we need to complete some of the installation here. Uh, uh, some of the things that the, the contractor will be picking up, identify some that's under his responsibility. Anything that's out and above the scope of some of the things that we do here, I go ahead and pick those up and that's what I will be picking up today. Uh, we will be hitting McKilling, uh, possibly CW, uh, possibly uh, mm, Wilcon, but right now uh, I have to go, I have to go by the bank. Uh, I have to exchange some money this morning uh, from my dollar account to my peso account so I can pay some bills here as well. So let's go ahead and get to, uh, this started. Let's get on the road, uh, take care of that, and get back here to Villa Feliz so we can watch some of the construction today.
Well, we were able to get the connectors, the the, uh, the hardware that we need to mount the glass to the side of the wall. Remember the rock wall? It's got the LED light strip. So we got the 16 pieces we needed for that. We picked that up at Handyman over at the mall, over at Robinson's. Now we're over here at McKilling, and we're going to try to get the other items, some of the service outlets to the Panasonic stuff. Sometimes they have it in stock, sometimes they don't. We'll see what they have right now. joy here in the killing but they don't have anything that we need uh, so we will go to mm, let's see let's go get some of those uh, some pebbles we need some more of the pebbles maybe we'll stop by city hardware I don't know if they have Panasonic we'll go see Back here at Stoneworks again. We gotta get some more of those pebbles. We don't have enough pebbles. We don't have nearly enough pebbles than we need to get the job done. Well, I'm embarrassed to say that I had another senior moment. Remember when I was just here with McKilling and then we went over to get the rocks? Well, while I was McKilling, I forgot to get the handrail. So I just stopped back by here by McKilling Got the handrail. Let's head back to uh, Villa Feliz, drop this off. Maybe we'll go another trip to look for those service outlets. Okay, well, we are back here at Little Fleas. I did a quick check over, had some lunch, and uh, everything's going. We, we got a lot of stuff. The grouting being done on the patio in the backyard. Uh, the front, actually, we had a ch change in uh, a manpower. Our Tyler that was working out there spent the last three or four days putting his house down. His brother is working on it right now. Oh, this wind. Let me go around here. Maybe the wind isn't so bad on this side. Uh, and his brother's working on the one that was supposed to go home. Uh, I thought he's going home because of his back, but he seems to be doing okay right now. And he's doing the tiling on the front. So maybe we'll get that done today or tomorrow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say tomorrow. And then uh, mm, I told you the grouting being done. The grouting is being done on the back because uh, I didn't have enough rock. We just picked up rock. So we, we have no work sh shortage or, or, or lack of materials to have that taken care of. Uh, so, but he's doing the grouting right now. So we're very close. And he put the before drains in. So we are so close. Uh, I, I'm thinking maybe we can even do the, uh, the grill pretty soon on the back on the back patio and let's see and our glass people are still working on the glass they're doing the glass install they're using the items I just picked up from handyman uh, but we don't have service outlets so I'm gonna run and get the service outlets uh, somewhere I'm hoping I can get it either Rosario or Patanga City at the Wilcon uh, and then tomorrow our electrician will be back again they got all of the yeah oh they're on I can see the lights on right now I don't know if you can see, see right here. Ah. And these are gonna work great. The reason these are gonna work great is this. I got my water bottle here. Um, you see this big gap right here? So what's gonna happen is that's where our, 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 our tiling stonework is gonna go behind that, I hope. I hope it's not too thick and we can just put it in back there and it'll be a nice snug fit of all of our lights. Hmm, I like it. I can't wait till the night to test it out. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and head towards Rosario uh, or Batanga City and see if we can get the things we need. Right, here we are at the McKilling in Rosario. Let's see if they have the Panasonic service outlet switches and all the Panasonic stuff that we need here. Well, we got two thirds of the stuff that we need here at McKilling today. At least they, at least they have much more than they did the one in Lipa. Uh, we have the, the wall plates. We need the single gang. A single gang single device uh, for I don't even remember what these are all for and then they have these are, these are for the speaker wires they actually have them in stock so we got all of these as well the only thing we don't have is the Panasonic service outlet the dual service outlet that looks just like this 
but it's made by Panasonic. And we're trying to stay standardized. We want to keep all the same ones throughout the entire house. Which means we got to drive another 20 minutes into Batanga City. We'll run there, we'll grab those, and then we'll head back to Villa Feliz. Well, anyway, we got everything we needed here and some today. We got the service outlets. They had, they, they got a great selection at Wilcon of the, the Panasonic service outlets. Remember, this is the one that will do everything. It'll do North American, it'll do UK, it'll do here in the Philippines. We also came in here looking for a, a, a ceiling light for the CR on the second floor in the master bedroom oh, yeah. suite. They didn't have, originally, there was a Philips that we were looking at. They didn't have it in stock, but as we were about to leave, they came up with this nice, this nice uh, light right here. And I will tell you, this this is so cool. What this light will do for you, I, I wanted something that was warm, warm, uh, which is like the 3000 Kelvin, the warm light, uh, the warm white. And what, but sometimes in the morning, you want to be energized. So what you might want to do is you might want to have something that's like 6500 Kelvin, and that's, that's daylight, that's sunlight type of a temperature. Well, this one right here will do all three. This three does, colors. it says three colors, but it's, but it's not really three colors. It's three temperatures. It will do, it will do 3000 Kelvin. It will do 6,500 Kelvin. What is the other one? 4,000. 4,000. 4,000 and 4,000 Kelvin. So you have the best of all world, worlds. And all you have to do is you sw switch on and off your light switch inside there and it will change each one of the temperatures. We're gonna try that, and I, I think that'll work good. It's got, it's attractive. We'll show you when we install it. We'll show you what it looks like too. Thank you guys. Thank you. Well, here it is, the end of the day. Uh, we just arrived back here, and the folks that are working here today, they were on their way out. I got to talk with my electrician. My electrician will be here tomorrow, and he will take all the stuff that we picked up for him today, and he will do uh, all the last things that need to do to finish up the electrical here. He will do that. Mm, tomorrow he and his and his helper i also spoke with the glass our glass company kit from the the glass company that we employed for doing all the specialty glass stuff and the the width of the glass that uh glass that has the film on the back is just not quite wide enough on the back of the area where the stone wall goes inside the great room so he's like he saw that and he said well, we're gonna have to change it out so we are going to make that. It needs everywhere needs to go between one and two centimeters wider. Uh, so they're going to take the smallest measurement because remember the the stonework is not perfect. It's not perfectly straight going up there. Some of the stone is in, some of it's out. Uh, we didn't think about that when we did the install of the stonework. It would have been much better had there been like a mm, something like a level in the back when they put it on there and they tampered everything. It would be perfect. So our glass would be perfect, but it's not. Uh, we don't live in a perfect world. We're not going to have a perfect, uh, perfect straight. But the wall isn't even perfect. The the rock isn't perfect either. But he's gonna he's gonna correct that. And we might have to readjust where the LED lighting strip is on. Also, we might have to pull it off from that 3M adhesive and move it a little bit inward so it's covered up by that, that glass that's uh, supposed to keep you from uh, seeing any lights back there. Uh, so that's something we will be working on again tomorrow. Now we just got back. I don't know what was accomplished as far as where we are on the task. Remember, one of the tasks was uh, working on the uh, the grouting, and we did the pebble rock on the patio, the the barbecue patio back here, uh, the front porch. Remember that was being worked on. Stuff was being worked on on the garage door. Well, let's walk around the house and look and see what stage we are in the construction for each one of those items I just identified. So as I walk onto the back patio, the first thing that strikes me is we are starting to work on the stairs that are going down to the basement area. I see they finished putting the little non-slip little edge edging on here, and they have three tiles on here right now. Again, each one will have the non-slip tiles on the end. We're going to continue on with the pebble rock. The pebble rock is going to follow its way down so the pattern doesn't change. Uh, so they're following the pattern from here and they're still going directly down with the same pattern here. That was done. Uh, it also looks like to me that all the grouting is done and the floor drains are installed on the patio. One, two, three. So um, most of the patio, mm, if not all, yeah, I think uh, other than cleanup, uh, the, all from all the spillover from the concrete that they were doing inside of here. 
So, uh, and all, remember, all this was nice and finished. They worked so hard. Now they gotta chip all the stuff, sand it. I don't know if they gotta put skim coat and repaint. I know what they have to do to finish that, but we'll uh, uh, we'll t talk with our finishers to see about getting that taken care of. Uh, so this is done. Very good. The only thing we need to do really with the patio is we have to get the awning up here. So uh, I don't know when that's gonna get done. Let's see what was done on the front of the house. Oh, by the way, let's see what Ness is cooking. It smells really good inside here. What are you cooking, Ness? Oh, pork chops. Pork Mar chops and pineapple. Marinated. Marinated. There's What's in marinated? Oh, and there's the marinated. Wow. <laughs> I, I and, and we have... <coughs> Was that miso? Tofu. Oh, miso. it's tofu miso. Mmm. <laughs> My mouth is watering right now. Well, on the front of the house, the patio out here, we actually have some tiles in place now. Remember, we didn't have the tiles in, in place. No, I think there were no tiles in place when we left to go to uh, our road trip to Rosario and to Patanga City. Uh, the tiles are in place. Then they will come back and they will trim this uh, with the grinder and they will complete putting in these non-slip edges inside here. Remember, it's supposed to come all the way around. Uh, I don't think that's the way they should be doing it. I think, no, they, they shouldn't be, it should actually be, and I, I will talk with them. Uh, we, we want straight cuts. We, this should not be being rounded off. There's no reason it should be rounded off because remember, we, we said that these edge pieces of tile will be able to cover very good uh, around this circumference the only thing that needs to be cut on any type of an angle or any cut on anything is these pieces right here you know the pieces that will match each other in this corner i will talk with them tomorrow about that and then finally down here in the basement uh i'm not really sure what went on down here they were down here all day and i'm sure it has something to do with the doors the doors are look looking pretty good they were re-sanding i saw them re-sanding i know all this was re-sanded today. So oh, that, is a, that is a really, look at that. That is a really nice finish, I gotta tell you. Uh, although we have some blemishes and all inside here, that looks really nice. Uh, so that was one of the things that they were working on here today was these uh, two garage doors. And I did see they were working to do, again, some of the cleanup around where they did the shoe molding. I think it was on this side over here. Uh, it looks all nice and clean inside here now. Oh, also I didn't tell you what they did. They did the epoxy primer. They did the, the epoxy primer, the great epoxy primer on my workbench. Remember there was all these wells and everything like that and there was places that rust could have happened. They did on all of them. Every one of the angle bars we have inside here is all nice and clean right now. Even though it's going to be covered up with cabinets at one point, uh, the thing is you don't want anything that will it will cause corrosion you need stuff to inhibit corrosion which is that gray epoxy primer that they have on there so that looks really good i'm glad they did that if, had they not done that i would have done it myself uh, oh and there's a oh they're starting to work oh in the very far back the little door in the door well the door that goes in that door is this door back here and it looks like they started doing something with this i'm not really sure um but they're doing something with it. <laughs> uh, we'll see tomorrow. But that's about it. I think that's uh, most of the stuff that got done here today while we were gone. So there is some things we c that we can see that's tangible, and that's a, that's a good thing. I love when you see things that are different from day to day. Uh, so I'm gonna call today a good day. Well, anyway, it is the end of the day, and we're gonna close here for now. But before we close, we're gonna do just a couple of birthday shout-outs. So bear with us before we close. Anyway, for today, for March 7th, uh, we have a birthday shout-out, and I think this is from Japan. Yes, yeah, yeah, from Osaka, Japan. Osaka, Japan. And Ness, you can take the honors on that one. All right, this is a birthday greeting for Ikeda Irene from her father, Renato Barreto, and Ikeda Midori. And Irene is turning 18 18, today. 18. So anyway, uh, a big shout out to you for your 18th birthday. Anyway, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and we have one more birthday shout out. And this birthday shout out is for one of the uh, viewers on our uh, vlog. And it's for tomorrow. It is for March 8th. And this is for J.A. 
Z X Y boy. I guess that's Jazzy boy. So anyway, happy birthday to you, Jazzy boy. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, well that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Thursday, right? Tomorrow's going to be Thursday, and yeah. I'm not even gonna attempt to figure out what <laughs> bill day it's going to be for tomorrow. We'll have it right in the morning when we start. Uh, a bunch of the same thing. A bunch of the same players here, but maybe we might have the Ironworks folks here. Because uh, on Thursday, I think they said Thursday or maybe a little bit later. But they are so great. They are so on time with everything that they do. I'm hoping that they're here tomorrow. Uh, but I don't want to rush them because they're doing a great job with everything. Uh, we will have our electricians here tomorrow. And we will have, uh, I think, three of our three carpenters. And a couple, I think a couple a couple of the, uh, the finishers. And we have some other tasks for them. Hopefully they can clean up some of the stuff. Uh, on some of the walls here. So until tomorrow, if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen over there. You will be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until tomorrow, have a wonderful and blessed day.